Hello everybody, welcome back to another My Summer Car tutorial. My name is Victor and today I'm going to show you guys how to install MSC Editor. So first up, we're going to head over to nexusmods.com. By the way, the link to Nexus Mods will be provided down in the description box below. Now, once you click to that link, it will show you this page right here, which is called MSC Editor, which is the file that we will be downloading today. So it's the same procedure that we do every single time when we install uh, mods or install anything from Nexus Mod. So we're just going to head over to the files. If you want to read the description, it's right here. But I'll show you guys how to use it in this video. So we're just going to head over to files right here. As you can see, the version currently, as, a, as the time of recording, is version 1.12. And it's updated on the October 16, 2020. So we're just going to click manual download right here. And this is the page that it will take us to. So since I do not have a premium account, I'm just going to click the slow downloads one and it will start in a couple of seconds. And now we just need to wait for the thing to download. Now, once you downloaded MSC Editor, this is the zip file that you will get. And I've extracted over right here. So we're just going to double click into this one. And as you can see, there's a readme file right here. Uh, you can just go through it and, you know, learn some stuff like, you know, how do backups work and whatnot. Uh, but we're just going to skip that for now. And as you can see here, these are the two important files. So I'm just going to click into x64 right here. If you are using 32-bit uh, Windows, you want to use the x64 version. And if you are using the x64 version of Windows, you want to use the x68. By the way, as you can see, the x68 and the x64 version, both are the same applications. It's just that you just need to select which one for your Windows version. So since I'm using the x64 version of Windows, we're just going to click the x68 one right here. So now we're just going to click into MSC Editor. And as you can see here, there's a prompt right here that says, Hey buddy, looks like you're new. There's an in-depth guide can be found on the My Samaka Steam community. So you can just click uh, Take Me That if it's your first time and you want to learn more about it. But since I've used this uh, application for quite some time now, so I'm just going to click the No Thanks. Now, in order to use MSC Editor, all we need to do is to just go up to Files right here and just click Open. Once you click Open, it should take you to this page right here where you need to select where your My Summer Car folder is. However, this is not the same one as in the Steam version. So I'm just going to show you guys real quick. So you want to locate your C drive, which is your boot drive. So we're just going to click into that one. And now we're just going to scroll down into users. And now you want to select your username or the person that is using your computer right now. So this is the one that is my one. So I'm just going to click this one. And now we're just going to navigate over to apps data right here. And we're just going to go over to local low right here. And we're just going to locate the aims tech folder right here. So we're just going to click that one. And as you can see here, it's called my summer car. We're just going to click that one. And now this is your file part. So now we just don't need to do anything. We just need to select this default ES2 file right here. And as you can see here, there's a whole bunch of stuff here. So I'm just going to go over this stuff real quick. So this is your normal stuff right here. You can type in, you know, like let's say N2 bottle if you have nitrous. So we have the nitrous bottle right here. But if you want to change the world time, let's say world. And as you can see here, the world day and the world time. However, there are a couple more toggles right up here. So we're just going to go through that real quick. Uh, there are tools right here. There's the teleport object one, so you can just select anything. Let's say if your antenna is lost and you want to, you know, take it back to the garage table, all you need to do is to just select this one. Where you want, to, uh, what you want to teleport? Uh, where do you want to teleport to? Just don't bother about the height offset and just don't touch any of these two. Uh, we're just gonna click apply or discard if you want to, but we're just gonna not do that right now uh, because we have other stuff as well. So that's the Satsuma report right here which uh, you know tells you a whole bunch of your Satsuma's report whether the you know something is broken you know you can fix loose bolts right here and whatnot so yeah you guys can see here this is your you know action buttons as you can call it uh, to repair or just undo stuff right here and we're just gonna go to my favorite part of uh, MSC editor which is the maintenance tab so you can see here you can just click fix on this this will literally fix your satsuma in real time so yeah you can just click fix right here uh let's see we can change the final gear ratio right here you know just put in the numbers right here like this 
you know you can just change it like that and you can click set and it's all ready to go and yeah you can explore this quite extensive set of features right here so yeah we're just going to close that one and the last one is the options you can make backup check for updates uh, which currently they do not have any updates and yeah uh, just a whole bunch of stuff right here all right now let's just take it back for a moment to head over to the manage key step under the tool step right here so we're just going to click into manage keys right here and as you can see here there are a whole bunch of keys for the cars in game as well as your home so we're just gonna click one let's say if i want the keys to the high Seco, the blue van all i need to do is just click that one and click ok and save it i actually got the keys to the van so i don't actually need to go through the whole process but if i don't want to i can just click discard and now we are back to this menu right here and after that we can just head over down here to the times and weather tab right here so you can just see here that's the time 24 hour clock uh it just rotates uh throughout 24 for hours and whatnot so you can just simply change your time right here and whatnot and you can change the day time here as well so uh, you can change the weather but i've never had any luck uh, changing the weather at all so yeah this one uh, i've never actually used it before so i can't actually you know tell you but i did use it a couple of times in the past but it actually doesn't work that well so yeah maybe try luck like, right here if you actually want to actually explore the weather and now we're just going to move on to the final three tabs right here so we're just going to go to the compare to save you can just take it back to the you know wherever your saves are right here uh, so we don't need that right now we can report an issue there's no issue right there and you can just click into here and it brings up this thing where is the world map now we're just gonna quickly go back to files right here and as you can see here this is where we actually click open just now to load up the save file and here's the save button uh, if you click close it actually clears out the current save that is currently loaded right here so the next step is open in explorer it doesn't do anything i've clicked it previously it doesn't do anything uh let's launch the game right here you can launch the game and you can launch the game on steam and you can just click exit to exit the application so yeah for this quick demonstration i'm just gonna quickly just change the world time to show you guys that it actually works you know just that easy to install so we're just going to click to world day i'm just going to change one which is monday to let's say wednesday which is three so uh, monday starts on a one and sunday ends at a seven so you just click in whatever number you want and just going to click enter and once it's red like that we're just going to go up here to files and click save now we just need to jump into the game now before we jump into the game i want to quickly address that you can actually just take this uh, msc editor folder and just put it to your desktop so it's much easier for you to find when you're playing my summer car and by the way it doesn't matter where you put the file as long as you can locate it you can actually use it now let's jump into the game all right so my game is currently loading and as you can see it's right up there it says wednesday so that means MSC Editor is working. But yeah, that's all for this quick tutorial on MSC Editor. If you guys like the video, give it a like and get subscribed to the channel for more future videos just like this one. And also, while you're down there, feel free to comment on any future videos that you want to see on the channel. And with all that being said, as usual, my name is Victor, signing off. I'll catch you guys in the next video.